what's going on so today I'm gonna show you how to make money online with no money to start and in fact I'm gonna show you how you can make money by completing the easiest tasks online you can imagine even as easy as hitting a like button and for this method we're just gonna be looking at two separate platforms you can do this with so you don't have to use them together or do anything creative there's just two completely separate platforms you can use either one you want so that way you can have two options or you can use them both you could go to one and then go to the other it doesn't matter but there's gonna be two platforms you can use to do this with and that said it's not gonna take long to explain how this works so I'm also gonna give you some bonus information in this video to help those that are also trying to grow on YouTube and for that I'm gonna show you an extension you can use right with your YouTube channel that will actually reveal what videos you should do within your niche that will blow your channel up so stay tuned for that as well and so if you're ready let's get started and whatever you do don't forget to subscribe and set notifications because I share the same methods that I use to grow multiple YouTube channels and have helped thousands Thousands of other youtubers grow their channels as well and many of them are now partners and if you're one of those who's been interested in just getting all my personal methods and tools for growing YouTube channels quickly becoming a YouTube partner earning Adsense revenue and even monetizing your channels for additional automated income like I do check out the link in the description to my video series where you can watch over my shoulder copy me and set this up for yourself and if you do happen to click the link and come over here to where the video series is and you scroll down a bit you're gonna see something cool these are people that that are enrolled in the series and they're simply just following the steps step by step as I laid out for them and they're sharing the results they're getting right here and in the video series I just added this recently this two-week monetization section where I show you how to get your channel monetized very very quickly and just using that section alone I have students reporting back to me that they've actually been monetized in as quickly as 11 days using that information so again that link is in the description if you're interested all right so let's get into the platforms I wanted to share with you today and don't forget after I go over these two very simple platforms to use I'm gonna give you two tips to blow your channel up if you're also interested in growing on YouTube so stay tuned for that as well but the first one is rapid workers now basically all these platforms are are just a bunch of tasks that you can earn money on simply by completing and as you can see here I'm logged into my account so let's go ahead and check out some of the tasks they have available so here are the tasks are just kind of in here randomly you can filter them by how much you earn by each task so they go all the way up to four dollars and seventy five cents so you can do that as well you can search so you can type in YouTube and just have YouTube related tasks or Facebook and look at Facebook related tasks and each of these tasks have different payment amounts as I just showed you you can filter those through right here but I have seen on here some very simple tasks for like three dollars like sharing liking things of that nature and again this is a free platform to use it's called rapid workers so check that out let's go ahead and check the next platform out so here's the other platform it is a very similar platform similar type task this one is called micro workers and when you sign up you're gonna see this list of tasks and all these different filters that you can use so right now it's just on default for all jobs and most paying you can filter it to latest best rated time to rate so we can look at the, the latest ones we can filter that so now showing us the latest ones we can go to social media we can look at those related to social media like Facebook platforms, question and answers, comments, forums, lots of different options. If you're interested again in doing YouTube related tasks, you can go right to here. This is video slash music sharing platforms. So YouTube is obviously a video sharing platform. And as you can see, there's a bunch of YouTube tasks right here that you can complete. We can go back to all jobs and we can go to most paying. And as you can see, Rapid Workers, the platform we just looked at, had actually had more per job to offer than this platform. This one's about half of the amount that you could generate per task. So I just wanted to offer both of these platforms so you could bounce back and forth between them if you wanted, or if you just wanted to stick with Rapid Workers, you could do that. Or if you wanted to stick with Micro Workers, you could do that. So you have a couple different options there. You're obviously not going to get rich by doing this, but people are always interested in how to make money with no money to start, and this is one of the ways you can do that. Now, with YouTube in itself, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and check out the two methods I wanted to show you if you are interested in growing on YouTube and you're maybe you're struggling or you haven't even started yet, but you want to know how to strategize to get your channel to blow up very quickly. Well, here's two ways you can do that. Let's head over to YouTube. So there are literally a bazillion ways to grow on YouTube. This is just a couple powerful strategies you can can use using a free extension called vidIQ there's another powerful extension called TubeBuddy 
Today we're just gonna look at a couple tools that vidIQ offers, and if you're not familiar with vidIQ, it's a legit YouTube extension. You, you can install it right through the Google Chrome store. You can just go to Google, type in Google Chrome. It's gonna bring up extensions, and just type in vidIQ, and then just install it, and you're good to go. And then when you do, you're gonna see these tabs appear over here on the left hand side of your screen and these are all vidIQ tabs and so how you're going to use these tabs in particular ones today is how do you know what videos to produce that's going to blow up your channel well the problem with youtube is is the level of competition there is on its platform and so if you are in again i like using the fortnite niche because so many people are interested in fortnite but these this can apply to any niche but if you're in the fortnite niche and you decide i want to do a uh, video on Fortnite skins related to the Avengers, okay, like the Iron Man skin. Well, that's been out for a while now, and so there's already thousands of videos out there related to Fortnite skins, Avengers, Fortnite skins, Iron Man, and so, so you're already late to the show, you're late to the party, and so your video is just gonna be a needle in a haystack amongst all these other videos related to that topic. And so one of the strategies you can use then is to create content that is new, that is fresh, that is trending, that people are currently looking for. So how you can do that and how you can find these trending videos that relate right to your niche, I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So if you look at this, these tabs over here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up competitors. So we click on that. And as an example, I put in a bunch of make money online YouTubers because I'm kind of in that space as well along with growing on YouTube, but this is gonna illustrate how this works. So I'm gonna go find, if I was in your niche, some of the top YouTubers within your niche that are just killing it and that always have fresh content, and then I would add them into this competitor list. And to do that, all I have to do is put in their channel ID, which I'll show you how to do that right now. This is just a random channel I grabbed, but um, it says right here on the YouTube URL, channel backslash, and then right this part right here is their ID. So you just put that into this field right here and hit add and that's how you would add that YouTuber to your competitor list. And so now what happens is vidIQ tracks their channels and as they upload videos, it's gonna appear, their videos are gonna appear within this list. So you can come in here periodically, daily, even multiple times a day if you want and check to see what is happening, what are these YouTubers posting videos about and then what of these videos are blowing up, which one of their videos is just taking off or trending. And so I could select any of these tabs and filter this for a month, for the last 48 hours. I can look at their views per hour. I can look at their views in general. So total views, and you can see right here it's filtering up. So out of all these YouTubers, out of the last week for views, this YouTuber had the most views with this video. So this might be a video I might be interested in doing my own version of. And then I can, again, look at views per hour. And so now the results are a little bit different. So even though this YouTuber posted th their video four days ago, it's still getting the most views per hour. It's still trending. So while some of these other videos may have more views as a whole, they flatline in terms of views per hour where this video is starting to take off. So maybe this is a video I might be interested in. So now I have two videos that I could potentially look at in terms of what might be trending and I may want to do my own version of that type of video. And again, since it's fresh and new, it's likely going to show up next to the other video that's fresh and new and then I can siphon off some of that traffic to my video and YouTube may push that video since it's a new fresh topic. It might push that video around its platform and it may get views that way as well. Let's look at another tab you can use to get the similar effect. And right here, if you can't tell by the, the uh, tab name, this is the first clue, trend alert. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And then I have an example trend alert set up right here. So I'm going to hit this, open it up, and I'm going to go under the edit pencil and hit that. So with this tool, what I'm going to do is tell vidIQ the types of video, the types of content I want to know about that are trending. So it's going to go search YouTube constantly, and it's going to update me any time a video that I tell them I want to know about hits hits this platform. It meets the criteria that I'm going to set up. So, so I'll do an example for you. So again, I'll stick with Fortnite, so I'll call this trend Fortnite. You can call it whatever you want. This is just how you're naming the trend alert. So, and that's going to ask for keywords. So I'm going to put in, maybe I'll put in Fortnite. I'll put in Fortnite skins. I can put in several tags if I want. Fortnite weapons. Whatever, whatever you know that would be relevant to your niche and what you're looking for, you can put in there. And so that tells uh, vidIQ, this is the content I wanna know about. Any content related to Fortnite, Fortnite skins, Fortnite weapons. 
you can go down here and you can select gaming to just make it a little bit more accurate in terms of finding the proper content you're looking for. And then here again, it's listing the competitors I just showed you that I had listed in the other tab. If you set that tab up and had a bunch of gaming related channels listed as your competitor, then you can just select each one of those as well and have uh, vidIQ notify you when those channels are posting this type of content or you can just leave it blank. And so here's where you can set up some more parameters. And so here it is, views per hour threshold. So you can tell vidIQ of this content, of these videos that are posted on YouTube's platform, I wanna know about the ones that are getting more than a thousand views per hour, these ones that are blowing up. And I want you to tell me every day to send me an email, a list of the videos that meet this criteria. And you can choose every two days, each week, each month. And so they're gonna email you a list of the videos that are blowing up. So you're always gonna know without even going out looking, you're gonna get notified from vidIQ, hey, here's the videos that are blowing up right now that you're interested in, and then you can go look at those and say, hey, maybe I'll do a video on this topic as well. So just play with these numbers if you set this up and you don't get any notifications and you have it set up for every day, you might wanna lower the threshold a bit. Then you just set update alert, and you will get emailed every time one of these videos meets the criteria that you set up. So I hope that helps you out. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. With that, I'm gonna wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.